Here is the latest Africa news update. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Heads of Delegations, Ambassadors, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm honored to address this 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly on behalf of the government and people of Liberia. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today at a time of uncertainty and heightened tension in global politics, securities, and trade. The global economy is also on undue stress. Security tension is on the rise in many parts of the world. Trade protectionism and climate change both are having unintended consequences, especially on developing countries. Yet, we strongly believe in the ability of the United Nations to maintain international peace and security, foster friendly relations among nations, and promote social progress, better living standards, and human rights. We continue to have faith and confidence in the United Nations as the best universal institution to guide the nations of the world in peaceful and harmonious interactions. Your Excellencies, since I assumed the leadership of my country almost two years now, I have remained focused on my charge to ensure that peace prevails in Liberia. At the time, we committed ourselves to upholding our constitutional mandate, which is to ensure that all the democratic rights of our citizens will be guaranteed and protected. I am proud to say that I've kept this promise, and our country is today a beacon of democracy in Africa where freedom of the press, freedom of expression, freedom of association, and other political and democratic rights are respected under the rule of law. Mr. President, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you that Liberia remains engaged as a responsible member of the international community on all bilateral, regional, and multilateral levels. We will continue to work with the United Nations and its organizations to foster peace, security, and harmony among the nations and peoples of the world. To my fellow Liberians, both at home and abroad, let me say that without peace, there can be no progress and development. All Liberians, therefore, have a responsibility to maintain the peace that we now enjoy, especially those of you who desire to be future leaders of Liberia. Remember, fellow Liberians, it was the love of liberty that established us as a country. It was the unity that made us the first independent African Republic. And it would take our joint effort to sustain the peace, development and reconcile our nation and gain economic stability. I thank you. If you like informative and educative African videos, Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of our latest videos.